Biggest earthquake ever to hit the East Coast rumbled across the country this afternoon, shaking buildings from New York to South Carolina to right here in Cincinnati. Nine News reporter Sayed Shabir is here now with an in-depth look at that record-setting quake. Sayed? Clyde, the last time the East Coast had a quake anywhere near this size was last July, and that one had a magnitude of 3.6. Today's quake, 5.8. It really is historic for this side of the country, but the damage was minor compared to the quakes out west. Still, buildings were shaken, and so were people's nerves. Were you scared at all? Yes, I was scared. <laughs> I was like, the ground shaking from underneath me. Of course I was scared. Heather Williams was one of the estimated 12 million people across the eastern part of the country who felt this afternoon's record-setting earthquake. The whole floor shook. Like our, it felt like somebody jerked our chair from behind us. And we turned around, me and a friend of mine, and nobody was behind us. I was thinking to myself, oh my God, what's, what's going on? Am I crazy? And then one of my coworkers yelled out, out of her office and said, is anybody else's chair? moving the floor was shaking it was wild it was a bit more serious in New York City Washington DC and at the quakes epicenter in Mineral Virginia 40 miles northwest of Richmond the walls were shaking um, and I, I began to think the walls were gonna come in DC's National Cathedral also suffered damage to one of its pinnacles very disconcerting and, and raises huge anxiety to be in the middle of because this place is so important to so many people we need to look after it. getting extra attention were the 12 nuclear power plants that declared unusual events the lowest emergency classification at the facility in North Anna, just miles from the epicenter, two reactors were automatically shut down. Both lost off-site power and were forced to use emergency reserve generators for electricity. Officials at the plant say the reactors were not damaged and there was no cause for concern. Instead, many people are more excited by the quake than alarmed. I thought it was pretty wild that you could feel an aftershock all the way here in Cincinnati, Ohio. I wasn't scared, but I was kind of amazed. But with damage reports at a minimum, why is it that so many people felt what seems to be a moderate quake? In the eastern United States, the crust is continuous rather than being broken into smaller pieces. So it's almost like uh, shaking my desk from this end. Every other part of the, of the desk will be shaking. Now, the U.S. Geological Service says the earthquake did not cause any serious injuries or deaths. There were a handful of people across the tri-state sharing their earthquake experiences by leaving their comments on our website. If you want to weigh in, visit us online, wcpo.com. Carol. All right, thanks, Sayed.